What's going on YouTube? It's me, honeybee, back to deliver another daily buzz for you guys. Um, welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, my day ones. Those of you who have been rocking with me with our channel from the start, I do appreciate each and every last one of you guys. Cross watchers, you are welcome here as well. If you just so happen to stumble across our channel and you see something that you like or hear, feel free to join our colony by hitting the subscribe button down below you may also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when i do upload content to the channel you guys as always tell a friend to tell a friend everyone is welcome here at the honey pot i do offer personal readings if you're interested in obtaining a personal reading with me check the description box down below my contact information is listed there i'm gonna go ahead and dive into the to the message y'all i thought we would um get messages from the ghoster um the person that ghosted you i don't know why this that this deck feels light like you may be losing weight or you may notice that this person is has lost weight i feel like maybe if you've seen them recently um, like I, I hear like this person they're showing me a downward spiral like this person's life has downgraded um since they've been away from you but i feel like this someone this is someone who deceived you said deception was at play here give me some messages from the ghost for y'all spirit tell me what kind of what kind of energy is buzzing around my collective what does this ghost have to say today unavailable you gave me no other choice but to ghost you i said what i needed to say but you weren't accepting it hmm this seems like someone with a big ego. And you know, the quickest way to humble a motherfucker, y'all, somebody with a big ego, is to strip them of everything. So I feel like this is what the divine, the universe has done from this person. First place they go is in them pockets. Like, this person has had to downgrade their life, their lifestyle is what I hear. So they could have had to move from, um, just say, a house to an apartment or... Which I'm not saying an apartment is a downgrade, but... From a five going from a five bedroom to a one bedroom, that's a downgrade, right? Thank you for the confirmation, spirit. Um, this person may also have to down have to downgrade cars, um, vehicles. They're showing me a a pickup truck, like a small one, a, a kind of an older model, maybe white. This person may drive a white truck, or white may be significant here. Um. They're showing me the number four. Well, they're actually showing me four by four. So this person may have dro dro well, driven, driven, <laughs> driven a four by four at one time. But this person has to downgrade. Um, this person may also, I know I heard four wheeler. So this person may have to sell a four wheeler or a bike of some sort. What else? This person is real sporty. That's what that is. Four by four, four wheeler. Like this person is real, real fucking sporty. Like it's slick at the mouth. This person is real slick at the mouth. Rejection. I felt my advances weren't reciprocated. But this is the thing. This person wanted to talk to you and come and go in any way that they please. But yet, when you put your foot down and you implemented boundaries, this person felt like their advances weren't being reciprocated. But I feel like this person would do something awful or say something awful, and then they would want to come back and make up and be lovey dovey and just bypass the issue that made you go cold towards them anyway this person was nothing but smoke and mirrors this is a classic case of a narcissist narcissism i wasn't getting what i wanted from you so i left to go get it elsewhere that's just what i'm saying real cocky that this is a, a my way or the highway like you know type of person this person had no problem dropping you they're showing me a yo-yo so you know like you drop a yo-yo you, you drop it once you drop it twice like this i feel like this person dropped you several times like this person had you on a string if this person this person played with you like a puppet they play they saw it with you like this person didn't take you seriously as at all they're showing me yellow yellow may be significant you may be wearing a yellow shirt yellow may be your favorite color there's something about yellow here yellow is significant as well to this story this person, this, this person may be high yellow, like a yellow bone. They may, their skin tone may be yellow. I lost track of all my budding relationships, distractions. So this, like I said, this person had a lot of distractions. And they're just saying here, when they couldn't get it, what they wanted from you, they would get it from somewhere else. So clearly you have boundaries in place. And you know, narcissists don't like boundaries. They don't. They don't. 
they don't like to be restricted they is there they are my way or the highway like you know like i don't i wasn't going to say narcissist until i saw the narcissism card here right this person was real immature this person this this is someone who is opposed to compromise um fears here my past experiences made it a difficult for me to open up my heart to someone again i feared you was too, you were too good to be true so this person saw your goodness but this person is also saying that they they've dealt with a lot of things in their past um this person could have been rejected by others in the past so in turn i, I hear like i vowed that no one is ever going to make me feel like that way again so they they allowed their circumstances and their past experiences to turn them into the person that they hate okay so it's like it's almost let me tell y'all something like it's easier said than done like don't let life harden you or you know don't let the world turn you cold that's easier said than done but this is one thing that i have come to understand about myself and other people like you can't um Nobody wants to be toy with. Nobody wants to be cheated on. Nobody wants to be lied to. Nobody wants to endure any of those things, right? The key is to remain pure. Like you, you, it, the best bet is, your best bet is to give it up to God. Give it to the universe. Release it. Um, the worst thing you can do for yourself as a person is like you can't hate a man or a woman and turn around and become them. That's the worst thing you can do to yourself like you're you're setting yourself up for failure for disservice you're also limiting what life has in store for you by being that way this person was unavailable to their emotions i feel like this person is someone that allowed their circumstances their situations to turn them cold my past experiences made it difficult for me to open up my heart to someone again i feel feared you were too good to be true but you just had strong boundaries in place because i feel like you went through some things as well and in your experiences, you didn't let it change you or harden you. It changed you to an extent to where you were able to figure out what it is that you were willing to tolerate and what it just what it is you weren't willing to tolerate. And I feel like this person couldn't take that. They couldn't handle that. Boundaries being placed on them. This is someone who, um, after this, whatever this is that broke them down, this person made a vow. I, I'm, they're, they're showing me like a veil. Like, you know, like this person made a vow. Like they would never feel that way again. So in turn, this person allowed their circumstances to turn them into those people that they hate. This person, their experiences in life turned this person into a monster. And this is why this person was so unavailable to you. It says here, I'm emotionally attached to someone else. I didn't know how to tell you, but I don't believe that. I don't believe like that this person attaches themselves to anyone. I feel like emotionally attached, what they're emotionally attached to is their past experience. And when I say emotion, emotionally attached, they're still attached to their hurt. This person is still attached to their hurt. Pessimism. I feel like I would never meet your expectations and i feel like it's because you had strong boundaries in place because you were so self-aware and this person um this person was not self-aware because everything that they were meant to feel they tucked it away like they vowed they they bowed not to feel like my past experiences made it difficult for me to open up my heart to someone again. They vowed. This person feared allowing any sort of emotion to creep out. To creep out of them. Look, hurt. <laughs> you said some things that really hurt me. This person has a... a um. This this person's ego is frail. Like this person is real fragile. And they put out on they put out this tough guy, tough girl exterior on the outside, but inside this person is, is frail. Like this person is emotionally attached to their hurt. I just said this. This card literally says hurt. And I feel like you would read this person, like you would tell them, you know. And I'm not saying like you have to be ugly with this person or tell them um relate to them what you have to say in a nasty manner but sometimes when people's ego is already fragile no matter what you say or how you deliver it they're going to take it in a way that fits the narrative of that ego if that makes sense what else spirit what else 
deception is here. I was worried that I would get caught dating you. I had to cut it off. So there's something about you. Like there may be an age difference. Like this could be um, different ethnicity groups. Like one of you may be more religious or spiritual. And one of you is not clearly. I feel I just feel like narcissism is here again. I thought the grass was greener on the other side. This person definitely had you in third party situations. And also with deception, I hear like smoke and mirrors. Like I they keep showing me someone like with a lot of weight on them. Like they're showing me a man walking through the walking through somewhere with wet clothes on you know like wet clothes gets heavy when you you carry it around for so long this person is frail this person is fragile if they're not physically losing weight this person is they have a lot of they have a lot a lot of burdens to bear it says immature here i was trying to impress my friends by showing them i didn't care i didn't want to appear weak to them right so deception is here. I was worried that I would get caught dating you. I had to cut it off. I feel like this person, they, they who they were trying to deceive were their friends. There could be a, an, an age gap here. It don't have to be an age gap. Like this person don't have to be younger or older or you don't have to be this person. You know, because age does not equate to maturity, right? You can have somebody in their 50, 60 that's still immature as hell. They'll call that a man child or like a, a woman child, for lack of a better expression. This person is just childish. I hear gullible. Like this person has a follower mentality. Like this person doesn't have their own mind. They allow friends to persuade them away from you. They allow past hurts to persuade them away from you. This person becomes weak to their circumstances. Insecurity is here. I felt you were out of my league and didn't meet your standards, so I didn't bother to to try to avoid disappointment, right? And it seems with pessimism, I felt like I would never meet your expectations. This person has some insecurity issues, so trust me, it's not you, it's them. Immature is here again. I ghosted you because I wanted to teach you a lesson, like, huh? It's like they wanted to teach you a lesson. They want, like, suffer. Like, this person wanted to make you suffer, but they are suffering. This person is suffering. Twelve could be significant. This person could be born in December. So, they could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. Don't have to be. Give me one final card, Spirit. Give me one final card from this deck and I'm moving to the tarot, y'all. It says differences. I didn't think you needed an explanation since we didn't establish anything serious. I'm sorry if I hurt you, right? So now this person is apologizing. This cocky man-child, ego-driven, immature... <laughs> This person that rejected you, ghosted you, this person is apologizing. But it almost like they're hurt, like hurt people, hurt people. This is a classic case of hurt people, hurt people. But this person is saying, I'm sorry if I hurt you. So this person is apologizing. Differences again. I knew I had to increase my efforts to be with you. I wasn't able to do that. This person is dealing with a lot, y'all. Insecurity issues. They're t they're still holding on to past hurt and grudges. So it was never you. I feel like you just bought up in this person. Like you you shed a light on their darkness. You held a mirror up to this person. You held a mirror up to this person, and they didn't like what they saw. It's like this person. This person couldn't stand to see their own reflection. And I feel like dealing with you, like you reflected to this person all of their issues. <laughs> what else? This person definitely had a lot, a lot of options. But this person is, I like, this person would be like... 
this is this is a like a know it all, but this person don't know shit because they all they steady picking the wrong cup. Like this person always picked the wrong cup. Like it's like they want to be so picky and have things their way, but they always end up with the short end of the stick. This person is not good at making decisions. This person is could be an indecisive energy. They're real bad with making decisions. Like it's like their own minds deceive them. Like they don't have a lot of clarity. Like this person don't have a lot a lot of clarity. This person is really not self aware. You're dealing with someone that's unevolved, unawakened, unawakened. E may be significant. This person's name may start with an E, first, middle, last initial. I also hear why like the letter Y may be significant or this may be a question that you would readily ask this person like why like why are you like this why you do these things or like and like I'm hearing the, the, the conversation like why but I'm seeing this person getting flustered so it's like this person don't like to answer no questions because I feel like they was a liar they don't tell the truth this person is a liar this ghoster. Like I said, y'all, this could be past present energy. This could be the current energy of the person that you're dealing with at this time. This could be a past person or this could be future. This could be a future reading for some of you. Take the parts that resonate. Leave the, the part of the parts behind for someone who needs the messages. I'm real calm and there's a lot of like smoke here. So I, I, I almost get a... a calm before the storm you know this person really can't they haven't figured out what it is about them that would just leave you leave you hanging like this person don't have no clarity like look in in internal conflict in a turmoil this person is so conflicted on the inside you see can't make it up Tower moment. This is the devil. This person is so conflicted on the inside. It's like this person battles with the with the angel and the devil on their shoulders. This person is going through serious tower moments. Like I said, this person is not good at making decisions. Like every time they make a decision, it blows up in their face. Because they don't make the decision with good intent. Like they don't make the decision with truth. Like their decision making skills are based around deception. This person just wants to be bossy. They want to be in control and their controlling method, their, their ways of maneuvering, controlling thing, things has was, is what's gotten them to this point where they are. Like this person is losing everything. Like I say, downgrade, like this tower is literally somebody falling out of their castle. Like this person has to downgrade homes, could be vehicles. They could be losing friends. They could be, um, in battle with their social circle, right? They're, they're. Their friendship groups, I tell you, they're not happy. This person is not happy. I hear pure bliss. Like the one person that, that brought them pure bliss. Pure bliss into their environment. And they're looking like this person is looking over. Like this emperor is actually looking over to the side. And he's looking like, you know, like. I hear what the fuck. Like, you know, like. Damn again. Like this person is just going through it. Like, look, heavy burdens. Like, this person feels stuck in their circumstances. It's because this person did a lot of bad shit towards you and towards other people. Like, the, the type of lifestyle they live. Like, them being controlling. This will be the type of energy. Like, they blame everybody for their shortcomings. Like, this is never, any, it's never their fault. It's always someone else's fault. And this person refuses to admit that they are responsible for the way that their life has turned out. Because this person is fucking selfish with this nine of, nine of cups. This person may also be drowning in their sorrows. This may be someone who drinks a lot. If it's not drinking, y'all, this person is... They overindulge. Like, and I feel like this person, their overindulgence here may just be toxic shit. Like, this person may be addicted to toxicity. That's what this is. Their social cir circles are toxic. They may have come from a toxic background. Like um, toxic family members. Like their friends. Like this person. Toxic lovers. 
like I feel like you were a different breed for this person. With the stability you brought this person, they had never had that before. Like this person was so used to dealing with toxicity. And I feel like this person may have taken advantage of you, right? This person may have used you for money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I feel like when you shut that down, when you stop giving to this person in that way or whatever, it don't have to be money. It could be this person could be using your energy, using you for your energy, right? Getting your good energy because this is someone who's pretty ground, grounded, down to earth. Queen of Pentacles is here. Um, When this person couldn't get those things that... I hear a leech. Like when this person couldn't leech on you for those things, they would go out and they would get it from somewhere else. Like this is a selfish energy. This person was real selfish. Like how does this person, how does this person fit in now by my collective spirit? This person is overthinking. It's here. You have Knight of Pentacles upright. This person, is, this knight, this knight energy is an overthinker. Um, but this person still feels like they don't measure up because you're coming out as the Queen of Pentacles and this person is showing up at the, as the knight. Now it did come in out in the reverse. Upright, the Knight of Pentacles is a an over an overthinker is a thinker right but in reverse this person is overthinking the situation like they're overthinking and i, well, I feel like they're overthinking here this person is still not learning the lesson like i said this person is still not implementing like they're being foolish like it's is nobody nobody's fault but their own and this is why this person cannot move forward and this person cannot heal because this person does refuses to accept accountability this person is not a one. Hmm. This person is real foolish. Like this person is. They're a clown. It, it, this is a bozo energy. This person is feeling real clown like. Real foolish. And they are fool. Like this person is a fool to believe that they can get anywhere in life. With this type of behavior. Like this person is only deceiving themselves. They're deceiving themselves. This person is deceiving. This person was a deceptive lover. Like, this person kept a choice. The lover's card, y'all, is also known as the choice. This person kept something on the side. Like, you know, this person wants to reach out towards you. What is this person's intentions towards my collective? What is this person's intentions towards my collective at this time, sir? At the time I'm recording this reading or the time you're viewing this, this reading, rather. What is this person's intentions? Oh, Lord. Okay, Hierophant energy. Like this person, I feel like they want to change your mind. They want to show you themselves in a different light. They want to manifest a new beginning here with the magician. Judgment, second chance. <laughs> this person wants a rec reconciliation. This person wants to come in and offer you a cup of love. Well, let me see. Mm-hmm. They're foolish. This person is foolish to think that they could come back and have this second chance with you. Look, thank you for the confirmation spirit and be in this type of relationship with you and manifest anything new with you without taking a, a, any accountability, mm -hmm. right? This person also has a, a sexual desire, strong sexual de desire for you. Is here. This person wants to reconcile. Let me see. Of energy is this person in? and i'm gonna wrap up this reading i want to see what kind of energy this person is in what is this person's current energy what is this person's current energy what is the current energy of this ghost or spirit one card what is the current oh shoot king of pentacles huh I feel like this person still don't want anything solid because King of Pentacles is pretty solid. You came out as Queen of Pentacles. This person is about a, about the money. This person is still not willing to accept this cup of love from the universe. This Ace of Cups. This person still don't want anything solid, right? They still have things to hide. And Spirit said that is the truth with this Ace of Swords. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.